In this video, we're going to be showing you a great little man beater out of the U-Trips formation in Madden 23. This is going to be really effective against any kind of cover zero meta that you might be facing, um, as well as also zone coverage has some really good concepts uh, for beating zone as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you want to check out my U-Trips offensive ebook, this is also known as Why Off Trips Pats. It can be found in New England's playbook as well as um, the Raiders playbook. And if you want to get my full U Trips offensive ebook on this formation, uh, you can get that by joining our Patreon. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And I believe that it's a great place to be able to become a better Madden player. So if you want to check that out, again, the link is going to be down in the description. So today we're going to be talking about a nice little man beater that I really like. This is good against man and zone, uh, but the play that we're going to be focusing on for this video is we're actually going to be taking a look at the play curl flats. Um, this is the actually actual default quick audible up, and we're going to show you how to run it to make it really good against man. So what I like to do with this play is we're simply going to slant Chris Godwin. We're going to out route our tight end. And then from there, um, you have a couple of you have several different options. What I like to do is go ahead and block my running back, and then we're going to put Mike Evans on a streak, and we're going to motion him over. Now, when we snap him, what we want to do is we want to snap him kind of just like that. And if it's man to man, we want to try. If it's one on one out there, we want to try to take our shot at a high ball. Now, high balls are obviously, in my opinion, one of the most effective ways to move the ball right now in the game. Um, borderline, I don't even know if it's borderline, they're pretty overpowered in this game. Literally what you're going to do is you're going to, basically as soon as the corner turns to run backwards, you're going to throw a high ball, and then what I like to do is just simply high ball pass lead outside, and normally I'm able to click on and make a play. Now this is also going to act, I believe in Madden 23, there should be a streak on every play. You should have the threat of this on every single play, because now what we force our opponent to have to do is we force our opponent to have to put a safety uh, or a zone or some kind of help over on the right side. What that is going to mean for the actual play concept here is now there's one less defender underneath to stop some of our crossing patterns. I can still actually throw this even with that, as you can see right there. So now they have to drop two zones to the same spot, or what they have to do is maybe something you know like this where they put a curl flat zone over there. So now I can't throw my ag because they're going to put two people in the area. But what this now allows me to do is it allows me to work my slant and my post um, over the middle of the field, my slant post combo. Now, this post to Jones um, is really, 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 really good, especially if you have short and elite on this player. Um, he's pretty much going to cook him every single time. Uh, Jones can kind of be uh, a little bit you know, poor uh, for route running in regs, but... I will say with most of the receivers you have in Mutt right now, this is going to be a fairly uh, straightforward read for you. So you see here he's just going to cut inside, pass lead inside, and as you can see, I'm able to hit Julio Jones over the middle. So not only is this able to beat man-to-man -man over the middle with that post route, but another route that we have, so let's say, for example, that they say, well, we're going to try to stop the, the post. We're going to really focus our energy, and we're going to try to stop this post route to uh, Julio Jones. Now what you should have the ability to do is you should be able to hit this quick out to the tight end. This is one of the best routes in the game this year. It's really good against man. It's really, really good against zone because zone oftentimes is not able to get out there. So now they have to drop a zone over there to stop that route. They have to drop a zone over here to stop this route, which is then going to force them basically to have to make a decision in the middle of the field. Am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard the slant? This out route will also serve as a great pull route to pull these outside zones um, more outside and open up the middle of the field. So you see here, they take that, and then we can throw the slant underneath the formation. So this play is really effective against man. Not only is it effective against man, however, it is also extremely, extremely effective against zone. And I want to show you one of the really, I think, really powerful pieces of this in this motion snap. What you're going to see here is this outside third a lot of times will back up, and I can just throw that off of the snap. Uh, what I would recommend, if it's a quarter or if it is a third, and you snap this when he's in motion, um, again, you want to get this out to the sideline. 
But what you'll see here is this little window right there, just quick snap throw, get it out there. And now that forces the defense into another specific adjustment that they have to make, which is they now have to play hard flats out of cover four, or they have to play hard flats out of cover three. If you play cover two against U-Trips, good luck. It's one of the best uh, you know, cover two beating formations in the game. So now that's going to be taken away, but we have that post coming over the middle of the field. So you see how this play is really, really difficult to defend when you think about all of the possible plays um, or all of the possible things that exist on this play. We also have really, really good pass protection. We have a six-man pass protection scheme. Um, and then the other thing that we have is the ability to hit that slant late in the play, especially if they're playing hard flat. So now the user, again, is in the middle of the field. And the user has to make a decision. Am I going to go guard the post or am I going to go guard the slant? So in this example right here, um, you know, we're going to give you an example of this guy going to guard the skinny post. What that does is it leaves um, a lot of room over the middle of the field uh, to be able to hit our other reads. So you see here, they go to guard the post, so I can throw that right in that little area. Another thing that I can do is if they sit on the post and then they kind of work back, um, they kind of work back to the skinny post. We'll kind of show you that real quick. So what you'll see, again, this is the setup. You always want to have your trips to the wide side if you can. Um, so just make sure your trip's always the wide side. But the other thing that you have, again, if you have some time, is that slant is going to come open late. Now, obviously, you have to understand, they're dropping eight people into coverage. Okay? They are dropping eight people back into coverage. So chances are in Madden 23, especially if you're blocking six, and if you have um, you know edge protectors, you know where the meta is right now in Mutt, you know you should be able to have some decent amount of time to be able to hit that read right there. As you can see, if you have time in the pocket, that read becomes wide open. And again, if they're only going to send three people, chances are you're going to have some time in the pocket. Okay, so that is cover three um, and cover four. Now for cover two, what you'll see is this guy will basically just get over the cloud and you can throw that just like that. So you have a pretty easy time breaking down zone with the streak on the left side and you're going to have easy time breaking down man uh, as well with everything that they have to do to stop it. And the real beauty of this play, I think, is, is to try to get people to see how powerful that is right there. That's what makes this play super special, in my opinion, because you already have one of the best ways to beat man-to-man -man in the game, which is the slant post concept. But now we're going to combine that with a motion over streak that you can snap while they're in motion, and it makes it where he's unbumpable, and it's very difficult for that DB to get into position and play it. This play is really powerful against man coverage as well as zone. If you are if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more on the U-Trips, I'd encourage you to get my U-Trips offensive ebook. The way that you can do that is by joining our Patreon for just ten dollars. You're going to be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates to those ebooks that we release while your membership is active so make sure that you join the patreon and if you want to do that head down to the description of the video and click the link down below thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you over at the patreon page